episode Digimon 2, episode 39, English dub. Let's just finish this off, I guess, and, like, hopefully we'll learn who this mysterious man is. And whether or not he's, like, the new, like, effing, like, villain who's gonna just signpost to the next big bad. Because, yeah, that's probably exactly where this is going, really. This is probably exactly what it's doing. Alright, so Ray, in, like, 3, 2, 1, go. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, Tara's like perfectly on point. Awesome. Wow, that's right. Like, I know it's like Japan, but we had a Christmas episode where like we didn't really get much Christmas imagery at all, did we? Like, it was just sort of a justification for the Digimon to be there, and we just sort of like you know didn't really think about it that much after the fact. Also, I'm just realizing, like, the movie was alluding to, like, the Y2K dub, like, thing, wasn't it? And, like, I assume that's when the movie came out. So that'd be, like, the year 2000, maybe? And this is, like, okay, so this, I assume this takes place in, like, 2001 now. I'll have to, like, actually fact-check that, but, like, yeah, because we just had, like, you know, the New Year's. Okay. Alright, awesome. So if that's the case, then I'm starting to get, like, a bit of a timeline together here. And, like, I don't know if that helps the shore or if it hurts it, but it's something. Jeez, like, effing... Digimon the last or whatever's gonna take place like effing like what like 19 years after this point if they keep up with the real world Yeah, that's gonna be nuts Yeah, that's a nutty marketing scheme Oh my gosh, it's freaking Nightmon. Okay. Wait, there's multiple Nightmon? Wait, where are Monzy Mons alive? <laughs> I guess there could be multiples, but like, yeah, I kind of assumed after he was killed, that'd be the last we'd see of him. Okay, I got it. All of us are going to meet over at Izzy's house. Wait, why was, like, the Digimon we fought at, like, the, like, concert Monzimon and not Wear Monzimon? Wouldn't that make way more sense because he's, like, the dark version? Right now I have to go to it's, like, the twisted you bear, you know? Okay. Yeah, there's all kinds of places in trouble. We can't worry about one individual. Now let's go to Izzy's house and come up with some sort of a plan. Can't worry about one individual. We have to worry about all the individuals. You're right. I understand. Okay then. I'll take charge of everything on this end. You go on to Tamachi and help out Ken. Yeah. Right. I like that they finally go over, like, you know, their whole stigma. Wait, why is... Wait, wait a minute. Why is Shogun Gekomon attacking? He's definitely not evil. Do these things have, like, dark rings on them? Because it didn't seem like they did. Yeah. Alright. Did, did we just forgive out the whole dark ring thing to justify this crap? Like, these can't all be Dark Tower Digimon because we're sending them back. Digicore, huh? I'll remember. Thank you. Good luck to you. You'll need it if both worlds are to survive. This is Jedi, isn't it? From kids all over the world. Whoa, talk about okay. And they're not just kids. They're digi-destined kids. How 
can that be? There's over 200 emails already. Oh my god. Are you telling me we're not the only Digidestin going around saving the world? Wait, wait, wait. How did you... Exactly sure wait, wait a minute. Exist. You but met Michael. You, you know there's but other Digidestin. As well as Mimi's friend Michael. Or any kid that saw Omnimon like Yoli did during our battle over the internet. That's the case. There could be thousands of digi destined around the world. Oh my hey, gosh. Maybe we form some sort of union. Thousands well, of digi destined emails, international. So and not a single one, one was okay, like, we should protect the Holy Stones. Matt, it's like America, so it's only Africa, these, this group right here. Only these ones. Yeah, this. I know I said this off ahead of time. This feels super phoned in. This just feels super phoned in. You know, at least there's one positive to this. No more time just wasted screwing around in the real world between incidents. Because, like, now the real world is the plot, so we have to, like, address it now. Oh, nice, Triceramon. Yeah, it'd be nice if Omega was here to see this. You always like that, Digimon. Right, Wormon does it to an armor form. Man, it's going so, like, dumb when we finally move past these two and on to someone who's way more boring. Yep. There's Mr. Monster Brow. What is his name? Like Okukawa or something? Okugawa? Something like that. Ken! We've got to do something about that Digimon. Yeah. You know, at least, like, Triceramon's something that you, like, you could imagine being, like, evil, right? Like, it's not like Shogun Gekkomon, where it's like, Oh yeah, we took this Digimon who's known for just being lazy and neutral, and we just had him rampage around for the sake of it. I guess when, you know, you kind of don't have many ultimates left in the world, can kind of have to invent some eventually. Don't matter what the plot suggests, we need them now. Hmm. Yeah, alright, evolution thing, just, we all know where this is going. Come on, come on, get it over with. Alright, Stingmon, yeah. Like, the only way this would be, like, have, like, interested to talk about is if, like, somehow Wormaw evolved into something that wasn't Stigmon. And it's like, oh, holy crap, who knew Wormaw could become Kabuterimon? <laughs> okay. And, yeah, of course this ain't gonna go well, because he's an ultimate. Jeez, that would kind of vicious. Don't just stomp on those kids, use your horn! He won't listen to you, fool. He's not under the power of the control spires. He's a real Digimon who just happens to be in the wrong place at the right time. Something's yeah. bothering me. Where are the rest of those kids and why did only one of them... Yeah, that's why I've been saying, friends. like, so of these Digimon don't make sense to be rampaging. Because the world is coming to an end and there's nothing they can do about it. You know what? As long as you're ending one world, I guess. Like, if you're created to cause destruction, then fair enough. At least you're accomplishing your purpose. Can't really get too angry at these guys if they're doing what they're literally created to do. <laughs> okay. Oh, this would be so much better with Beat Hit playing, though.
Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. He's kind of losing. Well, I know you haven't taken my affection for you seriously yet. Let me prove my love for you by destroying Pyildramon. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Oh. Okay, yeah, this, this is a bad time. Yeah, this has only got a lot worse than I expected it to get. Holy crap. Yeah, you say that. find some way to send them all back to the digital world through those digiports. Only one problem with that theory, all the digiports have closed. I'm afraid we're going to have no choice but to go to each one of those locations and use the D3s to open up new gates. Isn't Yoli's uncle a travel agent? Well, yeah. yeah. But he's not a miracle worker. Maybe we can all travel through the digital world. Only one port at a time in each area of the digital world can be opened. It could take us months to travel all over the world. We don't have yeah. months. The way the control spires pop up, it's more like days. If we don't find a way to destroy them, we won't have to worry about travel plans because there'll be no place Yeah, you to really need to figure out why that crap's happening. That's kind of a big Things deal. Get a little crazy. Everybody stand back. If they never explain this crap, that's gonna be so dumb. Wait, what the crap? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? Excuse? Whoa, whoa! Just shove two modders together and just open both portals. What the? What the crap did you do, Izzy? You mean you're Jedi? I thought. Uh... Last time we saw you, you're an old man. My head's I... a plastic surgeon. Uh, forgive me, but you're the most incredible hunk of an incredibly old man I've ever seen. I'm your leader. Okay. Jedi wow, that's kind of creepy. Real trouble. I know, Izzy. That's why I'm here. Wow, that's cool. All right. What is it? Listen close. This was given to me by a Zulong mod. It's one of his 12 digi cores. The power of this sphere is unlike anything you've seen before. Well, 12, so if anyone's huh? squeamish, I suggest you back out now. Ready? Hold up your digi vices. All right, yeah, time to do the thing. I feel kind of fuzzy. You are fuzzy. Hey, Wait, what? Too. Wait, what's this thing actually doing? Does it override the control spires? Yeah, I'm not sure of the actual, like, yo, know, like, effect of this thing really is. Wait, what? Wait, where's the gang evolution just like that? I mean, sure, it's like what? Wait, he just bought that building. I know it's like a castle, but like, yeah, like given the context of the city. Okay. Like, Imperial Dramon is pretty effing rad, honestly. I'm just kind of amazed this is how it happens. Wow, like... So Pyhildramon technically only got, like, two wins. He beat, like, Okubamon, and he beat effing Arokinimon. <laughs> After that, he was just a complete failure until now. Yes, that's right, Gatoman. That light is one out of Okay. Which means you should now be able to digivolve to ultimate. I can let the cat out of the bag. How cool. Wait, wait a minute. They just do it whatever now? Wait, hey, God. 
Like, I guess that's fair. It was like a sacred artifact from like, you know, like a big like god of the digital world or whatever. But it's like, this feels like it should be a way bigger deal than it is. Like, guess it's just because it's like an object. They don't really like feel like they have to give much explanation. Or sorry, they don't really have to make much of a big deal of it because it's just like a thing they got. But like, I don't know, this, this could trade with like way more reverence and weight, you know? This could have been like a way bigger deal. Where you're just gonna fire these across the globe? If this is what's actually happening, that's pretty nuts. For them to handle alone. You each have jobs to do. We must work together or all will be lost. All right, well, sorry, Sylphmon. I guess you'll never really be useful after all. It's up to you now, Imperial Dramon. <laughs> like, you. Yeah. I guess no wonder Sakuyumon got that big hit against Black War Greymon. Because now, like, he'll never be useful ever under any circumstance. Do you remember when the digital world appeared in the sky above the Earth? Yes, I remember that. Well, unfortunately, people all over the world saw it too. And they also saw the final battle with Like, I know people kind of, like, give, like, adventure crap for, like, oh, yeah, you know, it, like, gave the main two characters megas, but, like, no one else got, like, an evolution or whatever. But it's, like, the other kids still had, like, things to do. This is Stramp saying that it's, like, oh, yeah, Imperial Drunk could just fly across the world just wherever, basically. So it's like, yeah, when will we ever not just use Imperial Dramon, though? Does that mean there are others out there like you, Jedi? That's right. Only not as good looking. My allies are positioned around the world working with other Digi Destin like you. Wait a minute, I thought Guy was the last of these people. When were there more? I guess there were just more all along. If so, that's really weird, but alright. All right, we all understand we have work to do. I think Pearl Drawn just gonna zip around, right around the world direction. and solve the problem. Six other strategic locations around the world where the Digimon have recently appeared. The other oh my gosh. My allies in those spots. Those Wait a minute, those there's... Hong what, there's like 11 Scott, episodes Mexico of this City, left after City, this? Like 10 or so? Like, how do you have a plot after now, this? The won't open they they three, just solved so everything. Each of you to one of the six locations. I want you to join forces with the other Digi Destined and lead them into battle. Okay. Stop until all the Digimon have been defeated. So Imperial Drone's gonna just fly yeah, everyone around. So I guess that explains six cool episodes, maybe. But then like. Things. Imperial Dramon travels What's faster the... than the blink of an eye, so you won't have time for a movie, trust me. Well, my friends, good luck on your journeys. We shall meet again. So... Okay. So that's like six episodes covered, I guess. But like, where are the last four going to be? That's like the last, like, big thing's gonna be like a two-parter or something, and like... Huh. It feels really weird just kind of knowing, like, what the end of this is going to be now. Cause, like... Yeah, this is just gonna be, like, six Monster of the Week episodes, and then that's kind of it. It feels like we just hit the final stretch of very much just out of nowhere, and it's just sort of happening now. Like... We sort of went from like, oh yeah, what's this new arc going to be, to like, oh, I know exactly where this is going. Don't 
man, Imperial Dravon's effing cool. But that turn looked really bad. <laughs> Wait, why is it only Stigmon's voice? Okay. I think my bio rhythms are really off today. I'm going home and going straight to bed. <laughs> right. Okay, got it. Your plans for a nap will have to wait. We've got our new orders. Yeah, what? While they're out globe trotting, Japan is left defenseless. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you could say going. that. We don't have time to waste. Right. I'm sure Ty and the others can, like, actually digivolve now and you've, like, used the power of the data core. So, uh, that plan's kind of screwed then. So, yeah, that's gonna take some time to process, I think. Alright, so I guess just sort of, like, to kind of think this over real quick, it's like, 30 Sun was, like... Jeez, what even happened? Like, it was just the biggest Zulongmon exposition dump. Yeah, that that kind of sucked. Black Wargron just ran off because he's like, oh, I can't defeat the thing, so whatever. And, like, we got a big exposition thing that was, like... Yeah, that's the thing. It's, like, it's a big exposition dump, but it's, like, the answers aren't good, so f screw it. It's terrible. That was a friend. Yeah, that was a bad upping episode. And 38 was the big Christmas party where there was no Christmas. Like, yeah, they sort of wasted most of the time, like, just on this rock concert. And, like, the big plot just happens. It's like, oh, yeah, new villain just out of nowhere. You know, it's not really, like, slid in there that well. It's just like, oh, yeah, now nah, he's just here now. And it's like, oh, well, this guy's very, like, crappy and unmemorable. <laughs> Yeah, he just sort of does his big thing and it didn't really feel that coherent or like well paced and they just stopped the thing. And it's like, alright, I guess that's that. Like, 38 like feels like such dead air, like holy crap. And this is like, at least we got a cool moment where it's like, you know, oh yeah, Pi Hildramon's like finally on the ropes, you know, and like, oh yeah, what are we gonna do? And, like, Zulongmon's just randomly like, oh, hey, like, now that I'm free, I should probably do something. So, like, he did the thing, and they're like, okay, well, now we're just good forever. Done. Screw everything. We're, like, done with this. I, I don't even know what to say. Those are just, like, I don't, hmm. I'd have to, like, think really hard before I call 39 a bad episode. Because, like... Well, yeah, all right, yeah, I'll call it a bad episode. Because there is nothing to that evolution at all. You, it was just in our case of, like, oh, you got a thing and so you evolved. And it's like, oh, okay. Like, remember Adventure when, like, you know, like... Sure, yeah, you'd also say it like, oh yeah, War Grand just comes out of nowhere and you get the thing or whatever. But it was like actually kind of like this plot line about it. It was like, oh yeah, you know, there's this there's this great prophecy, right? It's like, yeah, you have to like, yo, know, trust in this like crazy thing and to like take this leap of faith and you know, like tie and Matt are like comforting each other because they don't know if it's gonna work or not, and you know. They make this, like, this big, huge deal out of, like, how much of a risk it is. Yeah, we, like, that would be a way crappier episode if instead, like, guy just showed up and was like, Oh, hey, I found this, like, magic light ball and now you can digivolve. Like, done. <laughs>